Hey, I'm Lucas and welcome to Tick Tick Tuesday, where I'll answer one of your Tick Tick questions in a video or share a helpful trick that I found myself. This commenter asks whether it's possible to set up a custom routine in Tick Tick, like one on every first Monday of the month. Let's first look into this specific example before exploring all the possibilities that routines in Tick Tick have to offer. You can turn any task into a custom routine by selecting the task, then pressing due date. In the menu that appears, go to repeat. Now select custom. From here, we can follow by due date, which leads us to an option that says every one day, week, or month. Select month. A new mini calendar appears after selecting month with three more options, each on the and workday. Select on the, and now we can select first Monday and voila, the task is set to repeat on every first Monday of the month. If these videos aren't enough for you, you want to get more free tick, tick tips, hacks, and tricks. You can subscribe to my free tick, tick Tuesday email course. The link's going to be in the description. You'll get one tick, tick tip delivered to your inbox every Tuesday. The default daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly repetition options also come with their own set of interesting options. They can all be set to repeat indefinitely with endless, after a certain number of repetitions with end by count, or after a certain point in time with end on day. Now let's explore some more options with custom routines. Going back to where we began this video, under custom reveals more interesting options to choose from. For one, going by every X amount of days allows us to not only set an interval every certain number of days, but also skip weekends. Note that the original sequence continues to run during weekends. So if you've got a task set to every five days, except for weekends, it may take 10 full days to get the next reminder as opposed to it moving to Monday so the interval is reduced by as much time as possible. Going with by completion date allows you to have the next repetition appear a certain amount of time after you've completed the previous instance. You can delay the initial instance as much as you want to. The following task will always move along accordingly. This is helpful for routines that don't have a strict timeline or that you just want to cut yourself some slack with. If you got a routine that isn't orderly enough to fit into a standard weekly or monthly repetition, for example, you can select by specific dates, and then you can select days on the calendar during which you'll be prompted to execute a repetition. If you're strictly managing your completion status and you want it to reflect reality as much as possible, you can also select won't do in case you didn't do it which effectively skips the instance of a routine and just jumps to the next one anyways. If you want to learn how to build an entire productivity system inside of TickTick, consider enrolling in my TickTick Power User course. It outlines my entire system from A to Z, a system that's helped hundreds of others who've gone before you and have left raving reviews. It's working pretty well for a lot of people. It's not a course where you're forced to copy my entire system literally one-to-one. -one. Instead, it should serve to inspire you and hopefully save you some time as well. You may not even need to follow me on YouTube anymore after completing the course. And that's my goal. I want to help you get to a state of peak productivity as soon as possible. If that's through these YouTube videos, that's totally fine. If it's through email, that's great. But if you are willing to invest a little, you may just see returns on your investment a lot more quickly. So check out the course link in the description to see if it's a good fit for you. Here's a bonus fun fact. You can even select something like every fifth Friday. Now, if you do this in practice, it's going to lead to a whole lot of time in between repetitions because there's just not many months that have five Fridays in them. And lastly, all of the options I've presented in this video also work for tasks that have a specific duration assigned to them. If you select this option, you can, for example, have it start at a certain point in time and end at another on a certain day, but the repetition options remain the same. It'll also be repeated during that exact time of the day.
I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any more questions about this particular topic, leave it in the comments, as well as any other questions you may have about TikTok in general. You may just see yourself getting featured with your question in a future video. Thanks for watching and see you next Tuesday.